So this is my Let's Play um, Part 5 uh, for Skyrim. And so today what, uh, what we've set up is we've, we're about to return the uh, Dragonstone that we got from Bleak Falls Barrow. And that is going to put us up for, a, um, for an exciting first fight with a dragon. And after that, we are going to go to the College of Winterhold and uh, join the college, which will open up a bunch of quests. And we're also going to take care of a few other things in that uh, part of the world. While we're waiting for them to finish talking, we are going to disenchant some of the items that we got while we were uh, in the dungeon. And this will give us two more uh, two more enchantments that we can use once we actually have some full uh, soul gems. Although the chance to see a leading dragon up close would be tremendously So, we've returned the dragon stone. That is where your job ends. My associate here will be pleased to see your handiwork. So your information was So correct. we'll learn more about her later on in the game. You went into Bleak Falls Barrel and got that? Nice work. Just send me a copy when you decide. Barga, you need to come I wonder what you were left like so excited about. Shoot, I was actually hoping to pick up something else while I'm still here. But he's not in the mood to sell anything to us right now. Where are we going? Uh, so I guess we're heading upstairs to talk to the Jarl in his study. Oh yeah, so while they're talking, one of the neat things you can do when you have a map is you can click on all this stuff and this will place the place markers uh, uh, on your map. It won't actually mark them as visited, but anything you click on will at least show up, which will make it easier to find later. So... So Avenici is the only character that I've noticed in the game that seems to have an Italian name. Uh, a lot of the other names seem to be Roman themed. Let's disenchant these uh, most recent gift. Which improved our enchanting, but not enough to give us another level. Oh well. It's generally best to travel light, uh, only carry what you need at any given moment. So right now, I'm going to head with her and go fight the dragon. So, dragons are interesting critters to fight and that normally uh, you're going to have to shoot projectiles at them uh, if they're in the air and you're going to have a pretty good chance of missing uh, probably well over half of what you fire at them. 
or you can just wait for them to land or hover for a little bit and you'll have a lot uh, easier time getting them then. Uh, while they're hovering you're not going to be able to like use a sword uh, or an axe or anything like that. Um, they also uh, breathe fire and you generally are well advised, particularly uh, early in the game, to try and get something between uh, between you and them. Yeah, I'll take care of you later, buddy. But yeah, if, if you can get a tree in between you and, uh, oh yeah, I'll have to take care of, start another sub quest while we're here, but we won't take care of it until later. Do we have anything else that we need to sell? I think we might have sold, yeah, we've sold everything else that is junk in our inventory. So let's continue out of the city and head over to where the dragon is. So yeah, as I said, you want to get something between you and the dragon while it's breathing fire. Um, shoot arrows or any other projectiles that you can, uh, uh, that you have available uh, at him while he's in the air. Particularly while he's hovering and whenever he lands you probably want to run up and hit him with melee weapons. Although if you are the sort that focuses on ranged weapons, then go ahead, keep on doing that. And the tower that we want to be at is right ahead. But can't keep on running forever. I'm out of stam uh, stamina. Okay, so... Up here are the guards that... Oh, I guess we have to wait for them to arrive. I wonder if quick waiting will work. Yes. No signs of any dragon right now. It sure looks like it's good. I know it was bad. We've got to figure out what happened. So she is a uh, Dunmer, and they apparently mostly live in the nearby province of Morrowind. And they're generally decent with magic. Uh, I had a good time playing one of them with my last character. Aha, space uh, core just fell. I will go and uh, visit him later. No, get back. It's still here somewhere. Rocky and Tor just got grabbed when they tried to make a run for it. What happened? Where is this dragon? Quickly now! I don't know. He better save us. Here he comes again. Here he comes! Find cover and make every arrow count! Where is he? Dragons are not maggots, Mr. Guard. Although the guards are really pretty good at providing comic relief, which is badly needed in a game this uh, this serious. So, let's get our bow out, and he has landed down there. Let's see if we can get a clear shot. Mir Mulnir. We want to stay near the stairs because he decides to come and target us. We do not want to. Whoa. It's nice that he has a quest target. Okay, let's. So it's a reasonably safe thing to fight him from up here. He normally will focus on the guards down uh, by the ground. Uh, on the ground. One of the things about dragons is that they will keep on flying around and uh, do the normal attack pattern until they're down beneath half health. After then, you can, uh, 
they're not going to keep on flying. So you are good to uh, run up and hit them without sweep. They also generally carry dragon bone sca uh, scales and a good amount of gold. And if they manage to kill anyone, then they'll keep a subset of their gear. Looks like he got one of the white run guards. Well, that's more stuff to sell when we're back in town. And this is where you first discover that you are the Dragonborn. Because you have just swallowed his soul along with apparently his skin. And this is the only time in the game when the game uh, will decide to learn a shot for you. Otherwise, when you find more word walls, This is the guard that the dragon got. Well, maybe not. This guard is still wearing uh, all his stuff. Anyhow, since he's dead, there's no harm in looting him. Probably somewhere around here is the guard that he uh, are the remains of the guard that he ate and stripped. There's some more stuff to sell. Another guard. Yeah, as, as noted, grab uh, everything that, uh, that doesn't seem to be owned in the game. And while we're out here, let's actually go grab Space Core. Because he is more badly needed comic relief. And Bethesda has actually provided a pretty good amount of comic relief all throughout the game. Uh, the dialogues with the guards are, uh, are just part of uh, the fun. Bueno. And Space Core is not particularly useful. Dragons. Dragons. <laughs> space, space. <laughs> Go to space. But if you ever want to uh, want to talk to him, he will generally say some pretty things. So apparently it can sleep on a burning bed. I would not recommend this in real life. Anyhow, let's head back up to Whiterun. And let's hope that the store is still open. Because it would be great to sell some of this unneeded stuff. But if not, we'll wait till tomorrow before we actually uh, head back out again. another quest started. Um, so the Red Guards are um, they're a civilization that I think is patterned after the people of the Maghreb in, uh, in real life, meaning that they're kind of uh, um, Arab North African warriors. And they're not particularly uh, magic oriented, but uh, they're pretty tough in a fight. I have never played one yet. I might play one at some point in the future. Let's keep on heading up here to talk to the Jarl. And hopefully we can talk to his court wizard and pick up that soul capture spell so that we can get started with leveling Enchanter. Because enchanter, uh, enchanting, smithing, and probably alchemy, they're definitely skills that you're going to want to have at 100 by the end of uh, the game so that you can have the best gear. 
Enchanting has a huge, huge benefit. Enchanting has a huge benefit at level 100 because you can finally put uh, two uh, two enchantments on the uh, on the same item. Yeah, so the Greybeards, they live on top of a mountain in here, and they were the people who shouted out uh, that name and made the, the world shake earlier on. We'll end up meeting them uh, later on. So he gives you another weapon that you can disenchant, and uh, as Thane, you get a, uh, a free uh, companion that will follow you around if you want her to. At this point in the game, I prefer to adventure alone. Later on, I will take a companion, but, uh, but yeah, I, I don't actually travel with Lydia. So let's see. Oh, I already have... Yeah, one of the things already disenchanted has this enchantment, so there's not a lot good for me to do with, uh, with that. Let's talk to Falangar. So let's show you how enchanting works. I will buy a petty soul gem. And, uh, let's see, does he have anything else I want? He has, um, Soul Trap, which is pretty useful. Um, yeah, there's probably nothing else that I need just right now from him, so I'll save my money. And let's do our first enchantment. So I'm going to take... Let's see, what enchantments do I know? Picking Magicka, Magicka Regen. Okay, so let's take something that I'm wearing now. What am I wearing now? I'm wearing Fine Fur Gauntlets. Let's take those gauntlets. And apply my Petty Soul Gem. And use it to make lock picking easier. Now, because this is a petty soul, uh, soul gem, petty is actually the, the weakest type of soul gem. I'm, and because my enchanting skill is so low, I'm not going to get a lot of benefit out of this. 1% easier lock picking. But it's a start, and I got decent uh, experience from it. Now, we're also going to start on alchemy here. Now, I have a whole bunch of ingredients, but I don't know what any of them do. You can nibble on an ingredient and you'll get the first, uh, you'll learn the first enchantment that it provides. So I will eat one of each ingredient that I don't know anything about here, which is basically everything. Bear claws, their first enchantment is restore stam uh, stamina. Blue butterfly wing versus damage stamina. Now you can see that it's present there on the display. Mountain flower, bone meal, and so on. So I just go down the line and learn the first enchantment on each of these. And now I will hopefully have some potions that I can actually make, like restore health. That is pretty useful. Now if you happen to mix together ingredients that have more things that they can do in common, then your potion will end up doing more than that. Uh, or it'll end up doing more than just what you initially mixed it for, and you'll learn 
what other th things they can do. But I did not look out there. Let's see if a red mountain flower and uh, this mushroomy thing. No. And damage to stamina. This is a poison. You can apply it to a weapon. And it'll apply this effect. And here we learned some other things that are common between those elements. So in the future, uh, if I want to make something that fortifies conjuration, I can mix those ingredients together again. So that's it for now. Um, and because he is not in sight, I'm going to save really quickly in case I'm wrong, and snag his soul gem. Cool. And might as well snag this soul gem too. And coin purse actually isn't owned. Cool. So I am ready to head uh, head out. I was hoping that he would still be somewhere around here so that I could sell these potions to him, but no matter. There is Lydia. So she's a pretty popular companion. A lot of people bring her along uh, with them. But as I said, I don't bring companions with me until later on. Part of this is that I like to play the game pretty sneaky. And a lot of the companions, they will typically just charge right ahead whenever they see an enemy. Um, or at least they make it hard for me to plan how I'm going to interact with enemies. Let's wait until morning so I can sell some of my excess stuff. You'll notice that I was granted permission to buy a house in the city, but I can't afford it yet. Um, with most of the towns, uh, you can perform a few quests, uh, become a, uh, a thane of the uh, Jarl, and you'll be given permission to, uh, to buy a house. The house that you can buy here is not my favorite house, so I rarely do it. Let's sell some of those potions that we're not actually going to use. At this point, resisting cold is not that important. Frenzy potion can be useful, but I would still rather have the um, have the gold. It looks like we can sell some of the wine, and, and she'll buy our dragon bones and scales at this point, which is good because we don't have a use for them yet. But she doesn't have enough gold to buy them all. Let's see what else. We could buy a lot of these ingredients, but actually, let's illustrate why money is so important in the game. You can just directly buy um, training in any of these skills at a cost that slowly ramps up as you keep on improving those skills. This, uh, the cost keeps on ramping up until you have it very close to the top level of any skill, which is 100. improve speech again? Yes. Which will improve the sale price of everything I sell a little bit more. And I get a little bit more progress towards the next level again because the total sum of, uh, of all of your skills determines what level you are. So any uh, skill you improve will give you progress towards the next level. Do a little bit more training in alchemy, but now we are uh, we don't have enough gold to keep on doing that. But she, but the gold that we spent on uh, that we spent on being trained went into her inventory, which opens up the door for her to buy more of our stuff, meaning that we can pour a little bit more into alchemy. So 
So we've actually bought our way up to the next level. Again. We don't have any money left to keep on training, but that was an easy way to improve uh, our power. Now, in order to improve haggling to level 3 of 5, we would need, need to have our speech at, uh, at level 40, and we're not going to have that for a while. So... But we can improve our archer, uh, archery again. Or... No, we can't yet do eagle eye. Let's improve our archery again. And that's all that we have to do in here. We do have a little bit more to sell next door in the general uh, general store. I spend a lot of time in the market. Oh, it's not open yet. It's only 9 a.m. Let's wait an hour. Oh, still not open. Is he open yet? Now he's open. Not all the stores open at the same time. And actually you'll notice that the the characters in the game tend to uh, have daily routines, so you can follow them around and see what they're uh, they're up to if you're really interested. Let's fix our badly depleted money supply. Sell these war hammers, daggers, mace. Don't need these boots. Steel shield is better, but again, it's heavy armor, and we're trying to train our light armor skill. Yeah, so here we actually have a helmet that's better than what we have now, even though it hasn't been improved, so let's switch to it. I think. Oh. No, uh, I was uh, mistaken. So let's sell this. Uh... Huh. That's weird. Normally when you see this little up arrow, it means that it's better than what you're currently wearing. But that is not the case here. Wait, did we actually sell everything? We could sell Space Corps, but he's too amusing, so I tend to bring him with me until I have a place to store him. Later on in the game, I tend to keep uh, to keep anything that's unique. It's just a little bit of a collector mentality. Um, let's use this Soul Trap book and stick it in our uh, stick it in our quick skill menu because. We're going to find it useful later on. Okay. So now we're actually ready to um, to head to the northeast uh, corner of the game map and join uh, join the College of Winterhold and do a few uh, uh, other assorted tasks in that area. Um, there's two areas that you'll probably find me returning to quite often in this uh, in this Let's Play, and that's one of them, at least uh, up until the end of mid-game. And the second area is Riften, which is where I normally buy my first home and where I return the most often. There's a lot of really fun quests in that area. So let's drop down and head over to that carriage. And as you'll note, we, we will keep on grabbing alchemy ingredients whenever we spot them. Because that's some free experience for alchemy that we don't need to buy from the alchemist store. But this actually seems like a good uh, breaking point for today. So I'll see you in the next Let's Play.